In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to install Windows ME to an SSD without using the CD. Let's get started. So we're not going to use any kind of VMs or screen capture. We're going to be using real hardware. And for today's video, we'll be using the old compact Passario S4120WM. Now, even though we're not going to be using the uh, Windows disk to uh, do the install, we're still going to need the disk as uh, we will be copying a bunch of files from it to the hard drive. So for that, we'll go ahead and use our backup copy. Also for our SSD, we're going to just be using a uh, 32 gig with a uh, IDE to SATA adapter. So to begin, the first thing we're going to want to do is actually uh, shut down this computer, open it up, and uh, remove the old hard drive and put this one in. Uh, the old one has pretty much failed, so uh, we're going to replace it with uh, this 32 gig. All right, with that complete, we're gonna go ahead and reboot this machine. Uh, we are actually going to enter into the BIOS. So we're gonna hit F1 real quick. Now uh, we just wanna make sure, yeah, our SSD is being detected, 32 gig, uh, 512 megs of RAM. Uh, come over here, AMD Athlon. And we're gonna check our boot priority as well. Uh, our CD-ROM is second, so uh, it's still before the hard disk, so we're going to go ahead and leave this like this. And before we exit, we're going to go ahead and put in our disk. And we're going to go ahead and hit exit as we didn't change anything. So we're going to go ahead and uh, boot from CD-ROM. And we're going to start computer with that with CD support. Uh, this could take some time, so we may just fast forward. Okay, so from here, what we're actually going to do is we're going to format this drive first. So uh, we're going to enter into F disk. We're going to enable large support. We're going to go ahead and click on yes. From here, we're going to come down to delete partition. And we're going to come down to delete non-DOS partition. As you can see, there's an NTFS, so we're going to go ahead and delete that. And we're going to continue. All right, with that partition deleted, let's go ahead and go back. And uh, we're going to create a uh, new partition. So we'll select one and a primary as well, so we'll select one again. Uh, this may take a minute though, being an SSD, this is pretty quick. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I like using SSDs on old computers. All right, with that being done, we're gonna go ahead and select uh, active partition. Again, it's uh, pretty quick, so uh, we're not gonna fast forward through this as we don't really need to. All right, with that all done, we have to uh, reboot, so we'll hit exit. And uh, from here, what we're actually gonna do is we're actually gonna do a restart. So we'll hit Control, Alt, Delete. And again, uh, this may take some time, so uh, we'll just fast forward. So from here, we're gonna have to uh, enter into our uh, CD-ROM. Uh, it tells us right up here that it's drive D, so we'll go ahead and enter that. Uh, from here, what we need to do is we actually need to uh, enter into our uh, Windows directory. So uh, let's hit the DIR command. Right, coming down this way, it looks like we got to uh, change to Win9x directory. All right, now that we're in this directory, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a format on this C drive. Uh, yes, we'll go ahead and proceed with that format. Uh, this may take some time, so we'll just go ahead and fast forward. Uh, we really don't need a label, so we'll just hit enter. Uh, from here, now what we need to do is we actually need to create a uh, 
directory on our new C drive. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that. All right, with that created, the next thing we want to do is we actually want to copy everything from this Win9x folder from our CD-ROM to our new Win9x folder on our SSD. So we'll go ahead and type that command in. Uh, so this may take a little bit, so we may just fast forward. All right, with that copy and all complete, the next thing we want to do is uh, remove our disk. And uh, we also want to uh, go from our D drive to our C drive. So we'll go ahead and type that in. Uh, from here, we want to enter in our Win9x directory. And then from here, we want to go ahead and start the uh, Windows ME install. So we'll just type setup right here. We'll go ahead and do the routine check. And uh, as this is an SSD, this will go by pretty fast. Uh, now that we're in the setup, uh, there's really nothing special here, so we'll probably just fast forward through most of it. All right, with our install complete, we're now at the login screen. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click Cancel. Uh, allow Windows to finish setting up. So it doesn't look like uh, any drivers got installed, so uh, we may have to do that separately. There we go. Uh, yeah, it definitely didn't install any drivers, so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, try to install them from a USB. Let's hope this works. Alright. Well, looks like it might pick it up. Oh, oh it looks like we, we may have our USB drive. Let's check. I'll open up my computer. There it is. We'll go ahead and go to our drivers. So we're going to go ahead and install the drivers and uh, boot back into Windows after we're all done. So this is the main reason why I like installing 9x OS's like this is because right here normally it'd be asking for the CD to install some uh, Windows drivers, but because we actually uh, install it from the hard drive, it looks straight to the hard drive and doesn't even ask for the CD at all, so. All right, it looks like our uh, video drivers got installed correctly. Let's uh, go ahead and click on cancel again and uh... Oh, our audio is working as well. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do, let's uh, change this background real quick. So with Windows ME all installed now on our SSD, we'll go ahead and take a look at our system menu. And uh, it says right here where our Athlon 
XP, 512 megs of RAM, uh, 4.9 Windows Windows ME. So uh, what we're actually going to do is uh, we're going to throw a couple of uh, benchmarks and uh, let them run. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and do uh, 3D Mark 2001. Ah, we need to install DirectX. I thought it may have it. So uh, we'll go ahead and install that. All right, now that we're back at the Windows login, we're going to go ahead and just select cancel here. Um, we'll let, uh, Windows do its thing. Okay, with DirectX all installed, we're going to go ahead and go back and try to, uh, install a, uh, benchmark real quick to see what we can get with uh, ME. So let's uh, go ahead and go all the way back out of here. And like I said, we'll go ahead and try 2001. So let's go ahead and install that. Okay, with that install complete, we're just going to go ahead and uh, run 3D Mark 2001. Uh, we're going to leave all the defaults and just hit uh, Run Benchmark. All right, with that complete, I don't think that's too bad of a score. Uh, it did very well until we got to the uh, foliage and the high polygon count. So uh, let's go ahead and close out of this and look at our system details. Okay, so you can see right here, uh, it says that we have a Quattro FX500, uh, 512 megs of RAM, and of course we already know that we have an AMD Athlon XP. So there we go, that's how we install... Windows ME on an SSD without the CD. Knowledge is power.